Hi old folks, this is Max from uh, Epic4GTouchRoot.com. So um, I've got an uh, installation video for Calculin's latest ICS ROM. I've been using Calculin's Gingerbread ROM, which is great. Um, it's it's super fast, great battery life. Anyway, the ICS version should be pretty good. Um, he's my he's probably my pro he's probably my favorite developer. Um, for the Epic 4G Touch and uh, he's helped me greatly um, before when I was developing some kernels anyway highly recommend his ROM let's go install his ROM um, he's got uh, two versions the first version is the actual ICS ROM uh, with TouchWiz and everything and uh, if you flash the second file it'll get rid of all your the Samsung bloatware and stuff so I'll show you both and also we're gonna install a new modem FC05 the latest modem um, should give you better um, reception speeds so let's go do it first uh, you have to copy the three files over um, connect as USB storage um, and if you don't want if you just want TouchWiz you can just copy the two files over but I'll show you let's do it together and uh, let me switch my camera here and here's the three files um, the first one is the ROM file, or the second one is the ROM file. That's the bare bone converter that's um, getting rid of all the bloatware and also the modem. So if you don't want the bare bones, just just uh, copy these two. Um, or if you want bare bones, then copy all of them. Uh, and I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go to my I think internal storage here and do a right click paste, or you can put it on your SD card. Um, I already copied two of the files over, that's why it's not doing it. So I've got one, two, three files there. And let's go back to our phone here. And we're going to put it into uh, Clock for My Recovery or... Uh, <clears throat> I actually have Rogue Recovery. It doesn't matter, any recovery works. They're all the same. Volume up and the power button together until your phone resets. Or you can hit Recovery if you have the option. But some of you might not have it, so I'll just use the manual method. Hold the volume up and the power button, and it will reboot and into your um, recovery. Uh, if you have Clockwork My Recovery, the menus might be a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same thing. They do the same thing, so just uh, try to bear with me. So do a wipe, um, hit the power button, or it could be the home button, on depending on what recovery you have. Uh, do a wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, say yes. Delete all user data, and then we're going to install the ROM by using install from zip menu. All right, and then go back, hit the power button, and I'll try to slow down, not go too fast here. And uh, it's a happy Friday. Um, install from zip file, hit the power button. All right, and choose zip from SD card or internal storage, depending on where you copied it. Um, I think I did internal storage and go find the folder where you put it to. You can put it anywhere. Um, where's my download directory? Did I put it in here? Yes, there we go. So we can flash the uh, ROM first, um, which is this one. Calculins underscore E4GT underscore 2 underscore ROM underscore V 1.0 point zip. Hit the power button. Say yes. Hit the power button and this will install the ROM and if you get errors here that's, that might be you might have a bad download or something or you're trying to install um, you get an error if you try to install like a um, if you try to install non epic 4G touch ROMs on um, on your epic touch so you know the only way you can get error is if you have a bad download or you try to install um, ROM for like EVO 3D on your Epic 4G Touch. So just those two things um, should get you squared away. And this will install the ROM. And by the way, I set the uh, Friday as the Epic 4G Touch. No, and also just the Galaxy S2 day because I have so many phones and I have to now go and schedule. So Friday, look for uh, Epic 4G Touch and Galaxy S2 ROMs. Also, I posted uh, Resurrection ICM. ICS ROM for uh, unlocked um, GTI 9100 uh, international version of Galaxy S2 yesterday. Uh, Resurrection ICS ROM, highly recommend that ROM if you're looking for a good stable ICS ROM. 
Um, also, it's great just ROM in general. And uh, once this is done, okay, let's go back here. Uh, we're gonna do choose it from internal storage or SD card, wherever you put it. Uh, actually, not sorry, that's the next part. Go back and we'll reboot. And this will uh, boot the Calculins ICS ROM without the bare bones flashed, uh, which gives you everything um, pretty much stock Samsung TouchWiz and everything. But I'll, I'll show you uh, after we'll reboot it into Clockwork Mind Recovery and uh, flash the um, bare bones and then I'll show you um, the bare bones version so you can see the difference and I can be your guinea pig and that's why you watch my, my videos because I am your guinea pig for um, Android smartphones anyway I've, I've set the Friday as the uh, Galaxy S2 day uh, I have to go on this schedule otherwise you know it's gets kinda crazy here and I'm still behind I have gotta set schedules for the tablets I'm like way behind um, too many phones. Before it was easy, I just have one or two, three phones, and now it's like I have two dozen phones. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, so this is booting up, and uh, I will I'll have a ROM, full ROM review of this, and I'll probably um, test out the hotspot 3G, 4G. I, I don't think it's hacked, but let me see if I can use uh, Android Wi-Fi Tether app to tether. Because that's kind of important for me. I use my Epic 4G Touch um, a lot for uh, Wi-Fi tethering. This is one of my favorite phones for doing that because I get unlimited. And also, I've noticed when you Wi-Fi tether uh, on phones, faster phones actually do better Wi-Fi tethering. For example, my Epic, uh, my not Epic, my Evo 4G, my old Evo 4G is a lot slower doing Wi-Fi tethering. Um, and also, this is probably the fastest. A little bit faster. Well, this one and my Evo 3D. So I'll be back when this is done booting. So it's been five minutes, and uh, for some reason it won't boot. Um, let me try rebooting real quick. And, uh, really out of batteries. And if that doesn't work, there's actually a format um, you can try. Oh, there we go. Now it works. No, never mind. Um, there's actually a wipe format, but I don't, I don't think you have to use it since we wiped it already. That's the same, pretty much the same thing. I was going to use that. It did sun mark, but it did boot up. Let's have to take the battery out once, and <clears throat> same thing should happen to you. And I'll be back when this is completely reboots. Hi, folks. So I've kept running out of battery. I should have charged my phone before I started doing this, but I got to charge it up a little bit. Um, Anyway, this is the new Epic 4G Touch. Actually, I was reading over the XEA forum thread and uh, actually 3G, 4G hotspot is hacked, which is good news. So Android 4.0.3 uh, build Calculins uh, version 1.0. Um, kernel is uh, D70 FC06. Um, and we didn't flash the modem yet. Um, so this is, uh, this is basically the whole thing here with all the apps, Google Play, everything. And I'll have a full review of this. And now let's go back into Clockwork Mode Recovery or Road Recovery. Um, hold down volume up and power button. And we'll flash the bare bones and also the uh, the modem. I forgot to flash that. Oh wait, before we do that, let's look at what modem we have. It's under baseband. So we have FB15. FB um, we'll flash the FC05. Hold the volume up and the power button together until you get into recovery. And uh, you know, modem is optional. I mean, you don't have to have to install it, but uh, it's probably gonna give you a lot better, um, a lot better uh, signal and stuff. So here, I'm in Rogue again. Install zip from uh, file. Choose zip from, I think SD card, uh, and download. Um, no, sorry, that's not it. Uh, it was from internal storage. I go to download. And let me see. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Sorry, it's too early in the morning. It's Friday. And my neighbor kids are yelling, but it's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, let's check out the... Uh, we can flash the modem first. You can flash the modem anytime. 
um, just get into clock room on recovery. So I'm going to flash it, uh, install E4G T modem FC05. This will update your modem to the latest FC05. And uh, it should take another five seconds. Four seconds. And try not to do this when you hire out of battery like me, then you know you might end up um, like me. So I'll be back when this is done. And it took about two minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna do internal storage again or SD card wherever you copy the files to. And then I'm gonna go to download folder again. Um, and also you can do the bare bones converter say yes and this will basically erase all the, the uh, you know touch with apps and more go back reboot system and you should be on the latest calculins ROM without uh, the bloatware which should save you battery since they're not running in the background and also you should have the latest FC05 modem and I'll have a full review of this ROM I'm gonna give it uh, give it a couple of hours at least to try it out, make sure everything's working. Um, check out the Wi-Fi tethering, and uh, I'll report back. So in a couple of hours, I think. So check back for that video if you like. But you can, I mean, I, I wouldn't have to even review it. I highly recommend his ROMs. He doesn't, you know, he's a very good developer, Kaplan, on 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 XCA, and uh, he makes very good ROMs. So. Um, should be if he says it's version 1.0 should be pretty darn good so it's upgrading um, optimizing applications it's from getting rid of all that bloatware and I'll be back when this is done hi folks so it's uh, I've rebooted it and uh, let me see the apps here and uh, I think a lot a lot of the bloatware is gone now um, so that's how you do it um, if you don't need all that Sprint TV and all that oh it still has Sprint TV but I think some of the other stuff is gone um, there's a full list you can check out the credits link to the XDA and don't forget to um, thank Coughlin he's a great great guy um, on XDA if you like this ROM and you can also donate to him if you like it and also I have a full review I'll go test it out see how the battery life is um, play with it a couple hours and I'll have another video later today. Anyway, thanks you guys um, for watching this video. Don't forget to sign up for um, our email list at epic4gtouchroot.com if you have an Epic 4G Touch so you can stay updated. We alert you once or twice a week. Uh, if you did, great. Uh, we don't share your email with anyone else and if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe, but uh, subscribe button up there, a like button and share it with your friends who have Epic 4G Touch. And thanks again uh, for supporting my channel. You guys are rock. Alright, see y'all later.